Averages, the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. Grade E, GCSE, level five, national curriculum. Pretty standard question, just one on each questions. Now, I find the most, most problem is most students know how to, to work out each thing, but they don't know necessarily which one is which. So um, a good way of trying to remember that is to learn this rhyme, the hey diddle diddle. The median is the middle, you add and divide for the mean. The mode is the one that you see the most and the range is the difference between. So if you learn that rhyme, then hopefully you'll know which one's which because most students know how to calculate them. They're just not sure which one is which. So the mode is the most common, which is the one you see the most. So which number do we see the most? Well, we see two threes, uh, but we see three eights. So there is the most common. The median, okay, we'll be a little bit more careful of this. The median is the middle, but we do need to put them in order first. There's no good just looking at the middle of this and saying it's eight because they're not in any particular order here. So we need to order them first. So we start with the two, then the two threes, then the four, then the seven, then the three eights, and then the 11. And then we can cross off the numbers one from each end. So until we get to the middle. So we cross off two from each end, three from each end, four from each end, and that leaves us with seven as the median, the middle number. Now sometimes, um, if there's an e well, if there's an even number of numbers, sometimes you well you will get two numbers in the middle. So if there was an extra number on here, seven eight would be in the middle. You would just go halfway between those two numbers. So if it was seven and eight, you would go seven point five. If you had two numbers that were same in the middle, so you had two sevens in the middle. Um, you would just go halfway between 7 and 7, which is just 7. So hopefully you know how to do all those things, but remembering which one is which is the most important. So work out the range is the difference between the highest and the lowest. So 11, take away 2. And there's two marks for this because there's one mark for that calculation, one mark for the answer. And the mean, um, you add and divide for the mean. So um, as we're allowed to use a calculator, we might as well get the calculator out and add them up. So we've got 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 7 plus 8 plus 11, 4 and 2 more 8s. So it adds up to 54. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're told there's 9 people there, aren't we? So we've got 54 divided by 9 and that should be six. So the mean is six. Okay, so um, when it's worth two marks, you'll get a mark for ordering these numbers. You'll get a mark for um, showing you've got to take away two numbers. And for this one, you'll get a mark for the division of the total 54 by nine. Um, obviously you get the full mark if you get the answer right. So that's a nice standard question. You've got to know those things. They come up all the time. You need to know which one is which. Otherwise, it's going to cost you lots of marks.